George Hardwick is a rising talent in UK MMA. A defending Cage Warriors world champion, the man from Borough is showing what can be achieved with solid basics and an iron will. Something I really enjoy about Hardwick's style is his willingness to stay in boxing range. It's not something you usually see in modern MMA, with most fighters opting to dart in and out of range with strikes to A, avoid being taken down, or B, to avoid being hit entirely with a four ounce glove. Hardwick hops to the high guard and sits in the pocket, looking to counter his adversary as they strike. His right hand catch counter over the top is classy. In order to maintain this preferred range, Hardwick has to be able to stuff takedowns, or at least be confident to do so. One of his go-to defences is to attack a guillotine, along with an opposite side underhook to lift opponents up off of his hips. In his Cage Warriors title winning against American Kyle Driscoll from the esteemed American Kickboxing Academy, which has become best known for its squad of Dagestani wrestlers, Hardwick defended numerous attempts successfully with this technique and forced Driscoll to box with him. He's a drown you with pressure kind of guy, which requires a good engine. He weaponizes his conditioning by pushing a turret pace, but the pressure isn't just from a high output of strikes, but his presence in the cage. He's always staying in front of the man, and it's an uncomfortable feeling causing mental fatigue, with opponents feeling like they're forced to engage. All good pressure fighters are masters of this. Still stalking Bungard around the outside of the cage is Hardwick. A little bit marked up under his own right eye now though from yeah. those repeated jabs from Bungard. Little. To compound the effects of fatigue, Hardwick does two things incredibly well. He kicks the leg a lot, slowing his opposition down and making it harder for them to move and escape. And he digs to the body. His left hook to the body is becoming his trademark. Once he has his man backed up to the cage, no longer able to retreat backward, Hardwick uses the right hand alongside his body position to steer his opponents toward his left, walking them into the body shot. If you are tired, gasping for air, there is nothing worse than taking a shot to the body, and Hardwick knows it. Oh, oh huge shot. Truman goes down. Something Hardwick uses effectively to maintain his pressure is the stance switch, going from orthodox to southpaw and vice versa. The stance switch is a great way of covering ground quickly and Hardwick will use it to switch it and walk his opponent onto punches, quickly closing the gap, often into lead right hooks. It also changes the dynamics of a takedown entry for wrestlers thinking about grounding the fight. When going from southpaw to orthodox, it presents a different target that would require an adjustment on a shot. These are things when tired and under pressure a man doesn't want to have to think about. George Hardwick is a well-rounded fighter. He has solid fundamentals in every area of mixed martial arts, which, which is what makes him a promising prospect for UK MMA in the big leagues. He does the basics well, and when you combine that with his physicality, durability and ability to make subtle adjustments, it makes him a lot of fun to watch. His varied kicking game, utilising quad kicks, low kicks, calf kicks and his effortless ability to kick to the head and body, alongside his stance switches and changes in look, from a high guard boxer to rough housing up the cage with a dash of Muay Thai clinch, he's a truly excellent fighter that will always be worth watching.
As always, thank you for watching. If you'd like more content like this, you can follow me on Patreon. The link will be in the description and it helps the YouTube algorithm if you can like the video and subscribe. Pro striking out, I'll catch you later. We're going to see it. Oh, Look, nice you've got to show me a bit of different. Big knee up the outside from Harvick. Lovely, 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 lovely. And it's over. Of TKO and the new Cage Warriors. Lightweight world champion, George Hardwick. Well, Dan, that was a championship performance.